All right, it's starting now. Oh, that probably would help if I took that um, the Doreen off the phone. <laughs> Well, you're doing what you're supposed to do. Okay. You're doing everything that you're supposed to do. <laughs> like, get on my nerves. How did I share it to myself? Really? Hi, <laughs> uh, hey everybody. We're, we are. Okay, Kim's trying to share a video <laughs> to herself. We're going to leave her <laughs> to herself to figure that out. I don't know how to do it. Okay, I'm going to walk you through it. Yes, okay, that's me. So. Now, see. So is that me? Yeah, or is that? See? Oh, you know, I'm sorry. Okay. You know what? See what I put under? <laughs> See what I put under? I didn't know what it was. And I put that with this on a daily. I don't know. I don't understand this. I don't understand it. But um, I do put up with it. So, okay. This is great. This is really great. <laughs> All right. So, you ready, Kim? I'm ready. We've been ready. We sit here. It's two Kims. Yay. Yay. Yes. So we have Kim and Kim. Now, there's there are two Kims here. Yes. They are. And just like you have a good and an evil, <laughs> <laughs> I too have a good and an evil in that order. <laughs> okay. You guys are following. <laughs> All right. So look, this is Newbie. And of course, that's Kim. Hey guys. Remember I said a good and an evil? What? Ladder. <laughs> the latter. <laughs> so, the latter Kim is over there. Now the really good Kim <laughs> that I really want to talk about <laughs> is this one right here. Yay. Kim B. Miller. So she is gracing our presence today. She's here in the studio. Studio B that still has like eight colors on the wall. I'm not <laughs> paint color. <laughs> Hasn't hit me yet. But <laughs> It will. But look, we're this here with Kim Miller. This is a special Miller. treat, you guys. Yeah, this I'm is a really special you. treat. So, um, wonderful poet, wonderful author, yes. motivational speaker. Um, what else do you do? <laughs> what, what do you not do? I mean, she's easy. like a great influencer in the community. I mean, it does so much, reaches out to so many people, yeah. and uses her Empowering words in a way people. that just, I mean. I know you, you empower women, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, she empowered me. <laughs> Keep it up, butterfly. <laughs> Keep it up. We're gonna set one of those things free. <laughs> but anyway, look, we're here with Kim B. Miller. So in just a few, we're gonna talk to Kim. Yeah. Um, find out what's going on with her, how she got started, and what she's doing as far as um being a poet. Her first poem, if she remembers it, you know, all that good stuff. All the all the juicy good um, details. So we're going to talk to her about that. But before we do that, Kim's going to get started and talk about our mentions for the night. Because yeah. there's a lot going on tonight. There's a lot going on tonight. So tonight, Lorenzo Miller, Mo Jazz Wednesday at Blue Sunday in Bowie, Maryland tonight at 7.30 p.m. And then also tonight, Racine and the Ass Racine Show with Silver Logan Sharp. That's also at 7 p.m. at the Human Rights Center, and that started, it is, starts at 7 p.m. on Rhode Island Avenue. Our boy, Orville the Poet, every first Wednesday of each month at Pure Poetry DC. He has open mic. I believe our, our guest may be over there. So, yeah, after the interview, y'all shoot <laughs> over to Pure Lounge on U Street. It starts at 8 p.m., doors open at 7 p.m. And then our girl, every Friday, 12 noon. Is it 12 noon or 1 p.m.? 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Feel Better Friday, Silver Logan Sharp. Facebook Live, uh, all sorts of, it, on Internet Live, just tune in at 1 p.m. Feel Better Friday. And Thursday, April 12th, you have to go get your tickets for the Legends of R&B, the Ladies Edition, featuring Karen Lynette, Tyra Labone and Anissa Hargrove. You all got to check that show out. And she's going to, Karen Lynette is going to be here with us next week, right? Yeah. Karen's going to be here with us. You got to check that out. Next week. So you guys got to check it out. Yeah. Um, that is going to be, I, that's going to be a really good interview as well. Because mm -hmm. um, you're going to have like three singers mm -hmm. and then 
just like tonight, my talent yes, is going to be displayed as well. Oh my so, goodness. Uh, <laughs> no, tonight, Kim is going to be this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what? Pure talent tonight. I so, mean, yes. This is going to be like an episode and a half and a half and a half. <laughs> <laughs> she got it. And you do not. I'm not that. <laughs> you do not. And I'm going to show you guys clearly how to see if you got it or you don't. So, yeah. We're going to find all that out tonight. Yes. <laughs> do you have any more? No, that's all that's going that's on tonight because I really want to get to our guest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, we're going to get to Kim now. So, Kim, thank you. Welcome. So thank much for you. being here. Welcome. Welcome to our studio. <laughs> yeah, all that. <laughs> so no, thank you so much for being here. It's um, it's definitely a pleasure yeah. to have you here. We just saw you um on Saturday night yes. at the Atlas Theater for their uh, intersections. Which you guys missed it. I'm yeah, telling you, you guys missed it. Missed a great show. Thank you. Yes. I mean, she put it down. A one woman show. She was I mean, the only one up there on stage and held it down. So um, God, you were good. Thank so. You. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but can you tell us about you? Tell us a little bit about Kim. Well, who is Kim B. Miller? Okay, I was born in Brooklyn, New York, and we later moved to Long Island. I've lived, I lived in New York since about 97. Mm -hmm. Came out here after that. Still go back, still call it home. You know, once you're from New York, you're from New York. I have uh, one sister, my brother's deceased, married, have four children, two from the stomach, two from the heart. Beautiful. And um, just love writing poetry, doing things, getting people to see what they could be that they're missing. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. So have you always wrote poetry? No. My mom said I started probably about high school. Okay. I started writing. I only, <laughs> I performed once when I was in New York and Harlem. I said, okay, I'm going to take this poem. I'm going to go to Harlem because, you know, Harlem, they're going to tell you to sit down and get up. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> you know, so I went and they loved it and I absolutely stopped. I cannot give you an explanation. I don't have one. I stopped performing. I stopped writing that day. Mm -hmm. And then later when I moved to Virginia, I picked it right back up what? like I hadn't stopped and I've been doing it ever since. Wow. Do the metro ice cream. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling. <laughs> We're special. We're really <laughs> be is not what she all eyes. <laughs> Got all to herself now. <laughs> so you stopped for a long period of time, and then you started again as if you had never stopped. Correct. Mm -hmm. So does the writing for you, is it, does it come fluid like, like water, or is it, you know, something that you... You start and then stop for a while and then wait and then go back to it, or is it just does it just pour out of you? I'm a pourer. Mm -hmm. I may not get the poem I want written completely, but I'm always writing. Mm -hmm. There's not really if I'm not writing, it's because I'm choosing not to write. Okay. There's a, there's never a day that I cannot be writing. Wow. So you could do you like wake up sometimes and yes, I have really? I have paper almost every room of the house. And my phone, I had the record app. So, mm -hmm. because I used to be driving, almost killing myself. You know, trying to, hold on, I got a high cook. I got a high cook. Hold on. 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 I feel this one. Okay, before I kill somebody else, or me, let me get a record app. So, when I have that on my phone, I'm like, oh, oh, oh. I'm like, okay. That's <laughs> one. My people in the car used to me like going out of nowhere. Oh, no, no. <laughs> okay. Where did that come from? We weren't even yeah, talking so about that. <laughs> so yeah, always. Oh right. wow, that is great. That so is when you so with the writing, you had mentioned a haiku. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you explain a haiku yes. to people who don't know? Okay. So because they're traditionalists, let's say. A haiku in the Japanese form is still what it is, a haiku. However, when it came to the United States, it got changed. There's more than one type of haiku. The most popular one is the 575, which is three lines, five syllables on the first line, seven syllables on the second line, five syllables on the last line. In Japan, a true haiku can only be on nature and flowers. In the United States, it could be on any subject. And I tell people that so they don't go to Japan haiku contest and be like, blah, 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 blah. And they're like, 
<laughs> is that? It's got no haiku. So, you know, but we change everything that comes here. So it could be right. on any subject here. I tell people so they learn, so they don't go right. Blah, 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 blah. So can you give us an example of a haiku? Sure, haiku. I do a strong woman and a strong man one. Okay. Haiku. Strong men don't need you to make them relevant. God already did that. Mm. That's a strong man. Strong woman. Strong women are not unbreakable. We just know you ain't the hammer. Mm. Mm. Wow. <laughs> see, that now. <laughs> now see, I when I initially had sent out the little promo, I said that she makes you think. <laughs> Everything it's like your words actually I'm telling you because I was at her I mean, show like this. <laughs> I mean it's your words are so strategic you. to me when I listen to you. Your words are so strategic and so well thought out. It would be as if you like had a master plan and sat with a room full of people of okay, what's the perfect word to go here and there? Because I mean it actually cuts like a sword and makes you really think about you know what it like a woman you know you're not the hammer you, what's you're, so cool I mean, about Kelly she about. makes you think about every subject Cause, right because when we saw you at atlas it was just like no topic was uh off limits but you had to think about it like okay and you made us think differently about different topics That's so awesome. like okay all right i didn't think like that mm -hmm. and even about um, race relations. Yes, that's what you I'm You open, I mean, some oh, people will say it's a can of worms, oh, but yeah. you open up a, a level of yeah. understanding. And basically, I love how you also put it, you know, when you were talking about the responsibility of the individual. Uh -huh. You can't put your responsibility, your responsibility on somebody else's shoulders. Yes, right. You got to wear it. Uh -huh. And when you went in to speak about the um, black and white issue or race relations, uh -huh. That responsibility was back on yep. the shoulders right. of the individual, right. and you didn't leave anybody off the table. Nobody. You, I, I mean, love how you did it. And that's what that really made me. I was like, I didn't think like that individual. I, I right. had to put you put me in that individual's place. I'm right. like, oh okay, I understand now. It was like every. Everybody had their own ownership. Yes, yes, yes that's and right. And it was a complete ownership of what was going on and what your individual response would be to it. Mm -hmm. And why is your response that way? Exactly. So not only was it making me think, but it also made me question my own self. Mm -hmm. To see, okay, can I justify my actions in my own thinking? Right. So it's, and, and I love it because it's beautiful. Yeah. Because it's, there's no trap to it. Right. There's no box yeah. that you can put yourself yeah. in you're mm -hmm. taking yourself out of the box right and saying okay no I, i'm not part of this equation anymore but i'm writing the wrong mm -hmm. so that i can be in you know that right way i, I look <laughs> this woman wrote books she does speeches you can you can hear her speak you also speak um i want to just pack her up and take her home <laughs> yeah. i'm gonna point kim hi coach <laughs> and just sitting at home like mm -hmm, what she said <laughs> No, 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 she had something that was called Kimism. You know, oh, me, yeah. Kim me being Kim. Mm -hmm. I stole Kimism. I know I'm sure I'm not doing it correctly at home, but just the fact that it's, it's Kimism, <laughs> I, I took it. But can you explain <laughs> to everybody who Before you do that, can you give us one of your Kimisms? <laughs> <laughs> no. That's what I want to hear. No. Because <laughs> mine is totally Because remember. Remember, we're going to show you how to do it and how not to do it. <laughs> My chemism, go put the trash in the trash can and make it bad, chemism. <laughs> Somebody sounds lazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's my chemism. <laughs> now, this is the right way. <laughs> and a chemism is, it's not a poem, it's not a haiku, it's just like a saying. One of my sayings, kind of mm -hmm. condensed. Uh, let's see one. Um, okay, chemism. And this was based on the theme of it, but it still resonates. America had Indians make reservations on land they already owned. Mm -hmm. Yo, what the hell? Take them home. 
this is. <laughs> see, see how it makes you think? <laughs> it really makes you think, like, wait a minute. <laughs> Chemism. Barack Obama didn't have a father at home, but he became the president of the United States of America. Stop making excuses, make plans. <laughs> Listen. Tell you, man. <laughs> See, and when you hear that and you look at the excuses, it's like, okay, <laughs> when are you going to accept responsibility? You got to accept that responsibility. I love it. You see the group? Her vibration just went through me because when we was at Atlas, I felt it, but I'm really feeling it. She oh, went so, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm like, so excited. <laughs> now, you do a lot of work mm -hmm. um, as far as um, poetry with, uh, with, with the youth. Yeah. Uh, reaching out to the youth. Can yeah. you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. Sure. I work with DC Scores, which is an excellent, they have an excellent program with soccer and poetry. Mm -hmm. And they have poetry specialists that come and work with the kids every year. Mm -hmm. It's in DC, DC public schools, all ages from elementary all the way up to high school. And to see someone walk in and see that little face looking at you and you're, you know, okay, so give me your poem. And you're thinking, and the banana, and they're like, and the wall of the words. And you're like, wow. oh, okay. Wow. Okay, right. you got the writing wow. down. You just need to get the yeah. you know mm -hmm. the nuances down and giving them little nuances on how to perform, when to slow down, when to take a break. How do you know when you're making your point or not? Did you write enough? Did you write too much? Right. So things mm -hmm. like that. How to perform, how to get your point across. And they are so eager to learn. And they have a, a uh, event every year where they come and perform against each other and win prizes and trophies. Okay. First, second place. And you know what is spirited award, so they really go all out, and the schools come. It's so big now; they have it on two nights. Mm. Oh wow! Now, what got you started working with the children? children? A friend of mine asked me to. She said, "Do you want to?" I was like, "Yes," because you have to reach back. You have to reach back and make sure that things are going to be not only good when you're there, but good when you're gone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So that right. you know. They can have the, the information they need yeah. to prosper, even if you don't do it as a business, you just do it as a love. You still got to do it right. right. You got to do it right. I love that. You got some questions? Oh, no, no. Okay. <laughs> I was just sharing with him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, where will you be next? Because you're everywhere. She's everywhere. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I'm recording something for the artist box later this month, which is a, um, <clears throat> excuse me, a Fairfax um, based. Virginia Television Show Station, um, so I'm doing that. I'm working on getting my uh, one uh, my stage play out, uh, yeah. which is I'm writing Women in the Bible, a poetic version. Mm -hmm. So it won't be you know, it's gonna okay. be different. Okay. And uh, outside of that, I got a couple of different things in the fire. Okay, all right. all right. That means stay tuned, exactly. people. Yeah, you got to stay tuned. <laughs> so we ask, we ask these two questions. I'm going to ask one you want Yes. Okay. Let me ask her about um the women. Okay, the women. Because you do, like the empowering not only do you women. work with children, but you also work with women that are incarcerated. Yeah. Okay. And can you tell us a little bit about that and what got you involved with it? Okay, a, fantas a fantastic poet, uh, Diabogly Haitian, started a program in a women's prison. And she asked some of the other poets to come and speak to women, um, show us, show them different specialties. I went for haikus mm -hmm. and a presentation and all of us did presentation. And after that, just, you know, it's, it's hard not to see people who, I mean, and, and some of them were really like, you know, I could book you right now, some poets. Really? It wasn't like, you know, people think you go to these programs a lot, you're like, oh, you just stay in the chair. Right, right, like, no, right. no. These women are phenomenal, and some people aren't spoken word poets. Mm -hmm. Some are poets, mm -hmm. and people don't know the difference. A spoken word poet is someone who kind of gets you to feel their words, and a poet just kind of reads it. And there's nothing wrong with either, but if you call yourself spoken word, people are going to expect that, whatever that is. Right, right. You know, because it's different for different poets. Yeah. So um, that has been fantastic. The first class we did graduated, I think, last year. So we're trying to get started again later on this month. Okay. Is there any particular prison that you yeah. go to, or is it's it in, in just up Maryland? Okay, just up. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right, all right. So, okay, when 
you were speaking about um, spoken word poet and just a, you know a poet. How would you define Maya Angelou? Now, some people was say she, she was spoken word. Some people feel she was a poet. I felt it, like when she said stand, like mm -hmm. I felt that. Mm -hmm. And so I guess it depends on how you look at it. I'm fine with either. Yeah, because uh, she's yeah. just good to me. Hey, you read it and, <laughs> and I'm touched. What difference does it make if you, you know? Mm -hmm. Do you have any or mentors or favorite poets? Uh, my favorite poet is Black Shopper. Okay. Hands down. He is. And he's in Baltimore. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> he is just. He um, is good. <laughs> Black Shock. Black Shock. So. You, know, you got hurt. You got hurt. <laughs> you check him out. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely got to check him out. Right. Yeah. And he's a, he's a poet that's in um, located in Baltimore, Maryland. Yes. So um, he's real big up in Baltimore. Does mm -hmm. a lot up in Baltimore as far as in the community and yeah. things of that nature. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, he's really good as well. Mm -hmm. Check him out, please. Yes. So, what would you tell your 12-year-old self? Learn to walk with your fear mm -hmm. sooner. Oh. <laughs> I <gotta take> it <laughs> Learn to walk with your fear sooner. Oh, mm -hmm. my goodness. Wow. Okay, so. Because people are looking... <clears throat> Sorry, people are looking for fearless lives, mm -hmm. but it's not a point of being fearless, it's going to walk with your fear. Mm -hmm. Because you're always going to have fear. Mm -hmm. Right, it's always going to be there. Right, and stop looking for perfection and start looking on doing. Right. Because Oprah failed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And all the people, you know, people call themselves failure, and I say, really, you're a failure. Hmm. I said, would you, would you call LeBron James a failure? And I've never heard anybody say yes. I went, no, no, no. I said, but he failed. Right. 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 He has this amount of rings, but how many rings could he have right. if they had... Right. But you don't call him a fan. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Would you say, Oprah says, oh, yes, yes. Well, she got fired from her first job. She's had problems. Everything she touched doesn't turn to gold. Right. Right. People have made success equal never failing, but success mm -hmm. means you work past your failure. You work past Ooh. it. Wow. Mm. Okay, so did y'all get that? <laughs> I mean, you're gonna have to like, replay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we've, uh, we've had some inspiring people on the show and <laughs> sat down with inspiring people. And one reason why I love doing this show is the free therapy. It's, <laughs> this is one, the free therapy, but two, I love just genuinely good people yeah, and people that have that good energy about themselves and that just want to share with others and see them be their best mm -hmm. and you know to be their best and to achieve their best so um, this is definitely one of them and we want to see y'all at your best being your best holding on to your best and being accountable for everything that's in that's in your corner but um okay so on the flip side of it now that's what you you would tell your 12 year old self what would your 12 year old self tell you hmm Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's called a newbieism. <laughs> That's a newbieism. <laughs> Probably do something outside the box. Mm -hmm. Well, that's exactly what you're doing. I'm about to yeah. say nothing to do with what you're you, doing. You're not definitely doing right, it. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> so, if you could give inspiration yeah. to somebody yeah. out there yeah. that's viewing or watching, mm -hmm. um, just what starting words, with it, one, two, that, yeah, somebody yeah. is just starting with um, right. poetry or mm -hmm. just starting to open up or just starting to uh, familiarize themselves with words. Yeah. What, um, what advice would you have for them? Don't read. I know this is going to sound strange. Mm. Don't read any poetry. Be you. People have a tendency to read somebody else's stuff and start to develop their type of writing mm -hmm. or their type of talking. You want to be as unique to you as you can be. And there's n and don't give the lie. You tell yourself, of, well, there's so many poems. Nobody said to Beyonce what has been... Everything right. mm -hmm. has been Roberta Flack. We don't need any more female black singers. She can be uniquely who she is. You can be uniquely who you are. You don't have to fit any pattern. Just write what suits you and be who you are. 
Right. Hmm. I'm just blown away. <laughs> 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 you could apply that to so many things. Yeah, you can. You really can. You really can. You can. But I think it's a message that's that's needed to be heard. You know, right. Because mm-hmm. so many people do try and be someone else or wear someone else's mantle. Right. Or, you know, try and, you know, walk in somebody else's shoes when yours are perfectly fine. Mm-hmm. So, identify and knowing yourself and be comfortable with you and then flowing in that and running in that. That was beautiful. That was. Yeah. I tell you, I'm sitting here in awe. Like, <laughs> <laughs> now, she's going to go back and watch the video again. <laughs> and then come going to call me. Well, like, no, I guess, you know, no, no. okay, so, so, you know, I'm going to try to make a good clip one. So what about that person who's not comfortable with themselves or or truly knows their self? I say first, and for those of you who haven't heard, I have a lot of mirror haikus, a lot of mirror stuff in my poetry. Because until you start with self, nothing else is going to matter. So you have to start reinforcing yourself. So when someone goes, that poem was wet, oh, that's ugly. I'm sorry you didn't like it, but I like it. Yeah. Okay. Once you start writing to suit somebody, you're writing for the wrong reasons. Oh, right. You got to write for you. You got to be about you. Take first reinforce you before you step out in front of other people. Mm -hmm. So that when you hear the yays or the nays, you're not writing to get that yay. You're writing to get that point. Right. Wow. And now, of course, that that carries over in life as well. It does. Mm -hmm. It does. It's, It's okay. Your words, the way you use them, I look, I just can't let it go. I gotta keep going back to it because it, it actually, I mean, I like was taking notes Saturday. I'm like taking notes and writing stuff down. And I'm like, wow, it, is, it just amazes me the power of words and the power when you allow those words to speak to you. Mm-hmm. How often do you allow your words to speak to you? Often. Because I have a phrase, don't turn into what you despise. Mm. Mm. What's the point in having <laughs> phrases and things if you're not going to, you know, walk the talk, so to speak? So, I have a couple of, I, I, if I say in front, I say, well, this one going to step on my toes, but I ain't going to be the only one with broken toes. Today. Okay. Right. You know, okay. <laughs> so, you know. Okay. okay. So, you have four children. Mm-hmm. Are do are they bit by the same bug? Uh, mm-hmm. I was going to answer that. <laughs> no, two are um, from marriage. Mm-hmm. And neither one of them are into poetry. Okay. My daughter, through birth, is a little bit. My son, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> not so much. <laughs> hubby, hubby used to write poetry. Okay. Uh, I used to, I'll tell you a funny story about my husband. Okay, so when I got back into poetry here, we're both New Yorkers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, me, my daughter, and my best friend were going. So we went a couple times. I said, you know, I came back and said, honey, I think, you know, I'm just going to, you know, keep doing it, blah, blah, blah. He goes, oh, that's nice. So anyway, several more months went by, and he tells me, I'm going to come with you. Not that he wouldn't come, but, you know, right. specifically, right. I thought it was strange he was coming this night. Anyway, so long story short, he comes and he enjoys the show, and he goes, you know, I'm going to tell you why I came. I said, he goes well yes and no he thought that my best friend which is neither one of them are like this i don't know why he, mm-hmm. he thought my best friend and my daughter were blowing smoke oh wow so he was coming to hear me do poetry so at the way home he would tell me honey Let's stop that. Right, 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 right. Let's stop right. that. Right. That was cute. That was cute. Don't right. do that again. That was a nice yeah. event. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's like, I was surprised. You were pretty good. He's like, okay, thank you. So, yeah, he came out once uh, several years ago, too. <laughs> Put me back. And now, look. Yeah. And now. <laughs> so, so, does he still... Um, Dibble and dabble with poetry or no, no, or? no. Though I tried, no. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I always wonder, people who are so empowered, do you have bad days? Always. Yeah. Always. But I look at my bad days as stepping stones to other things. Mm-hmm. Because, mm-hmm. you know, I have a chemism. Sometimes you fall <laughs> to show someone else how to get up. Ooh. Oh wow. <laughs> and See, that's what I love about the responsibility <laughs> thing. <laughs> so, 
so you got to, you know, sometimes you, you're falling, you're like, oh, here I go again. But you never know who's looking to say, oh, she fall 15 times, but she still keep getting up. Yeah. And yeah. sometimes I'll run into someone at an event and stuff, and be like, you know, I watch you and da da so you're so empowering to me. And you'd be like, really? You saw that? <laughs> you know, so you just never you know never when know. and where people are looking. Yeah. Right. So it doesn't yeah. mean I don't have a bad day, but I'm not going to let the bad day stop me from my purpose. Mm. Come mm. on now. <laughs> mm. So what do you do to encourage yourself? Thank God I have the Lord. Mm. I am big on my religion. Christianity mm. keeps me whole, keeps me sane. And, and that's that's how I plug in. All right. Now, you said something at the play that um, that I, I, I took away as like being inspiring. And to me was such a strong, um, strong bow move when you said that you, um, you were talking about um, your Christianity, mm -hmm. about um, being a Christian and how that you tell your children, go out, explore and learn, mm -hmm. um, learn other religions and mm -hmm. other things that people do i i find that some people see you know right. look at that as oh no no, no right. that, that's you know right How opening the door right. 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 <laughs> open the door to the devil and, and stuff like that and you know things like that but i love your answer behind that can you share why you inspire you know your children or would you inspire anyone else what would you what's your reasoning behind that well, one, you need to learn different things to, from other religions. And one, you know, this the Bible is about Jesus' biggest thing, the greatest of this is love. Love, mm -hmm. love, love. Mm -hmm. It wasn't judgment, you know, like people going up to these rallies, you're going to hell. I'm like, I don't know where you're going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get through the gate. Okay. You're giving everybody else instruction. Right? <laughs> okay, I ain't in there, right? Show me that chapter, okay? So, uh, <laughs> Christianity has gotten this rap of perfection, like we're yeah. supposed to be perfect, mm -hmm. and that when we make one deviation of a purpose, they see how they are? Mm -hmm. see? Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's judging people, but they ain't got it together. Right. Whereas you come off as human, which we're supposed to be, caring like we're supposed to be, then people are like, oh, are you interested? Yes. Tell me what, what your religion is about. Tell me what you believe. Mm -hmm. And who knows? A lot of it, if we took the time to realize, has a lot of common ground. Yeah. But, you know, once you start judgment and I'm better and you're better, and it just it just spirals down. And nobody listens to anybody you come across and go, you're going to hell. Oh, well, right. 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 Love to discuss my religion with you. <laughs> Who wants to talk to somebody like that? <laughs> that is so true. I love it. I love it. Love it. <laughs> Listen, you have, you have how many books do you have? Uh, four. 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 Okay. I thought it was four books. So listen, she had books available. Mm -hmm. Go to her page. Please do. We've sent the information. It's already on the page. We'll update it again. Anything she's doing in the future, we'll make sure that we put that on our page as well and share it with everybody. Go to her page. Get her books. If you hear about her being somewhere, you definitely want to go. You don't want to miss it. Um, tonight, if you're available, you're up on U Street at Pure Lounge. She's going up there. I don't know if she's going to take the mic. It won't be hard not to make her take the mic. <laughs> but trust me, when she gets that mic, uh, she shuts it down. <laughs> she shuts it down. Because <laughs> when she points to the crowd and say, hi, cool. <laughs> then they say it back, oh, it's about to come. There's a lot of understanding and wisdom that's about to be dropped. And you'll get a lot of this. Can no, you then you're going to get this. Then you're going to get this. Pure Lounge <laughs> Take Wing Pins. Yes. At the feet. That's what you're going to yeah. get. Make Don't sure hit the her in the head, people. <laughs> make at sure the, the feet. Cap, make sure the cap is on the pants. Right. And you aim at the feet of the person. That's a sign of respect that you really did what they're saying. And you throw your pen. Yes. It's a sign of respect. Um, there's no disrespect with that. Or you can throw some dollars. Either one. <laughs> but can you tell us what... Okay. For poetry, when you're at a poetry and someone says something good, people go like this. Now, at your show, another reason why Kim pissed me off at your show and I had to call her was because she was doing her own thing. She was doing, 
No, but if you want to know why, I'm going to tell you because it was after, it was she after was my something that Kim said, you know, do your own thing, be you. Yes. So I was like, I'm going to clap it and snap. Mm -hmm. It pissed you off. <laughs> I, I did my own thing. I had my own thing. I still made eye collar. That's what I said. Now you're posting on Facebook. She get on my nerves and I'm about to call it. She's about to get a phone I was call. Doing me and I was proud of my clapping snap. Yeah, but she stopped after she got that phone call. She found out I wasn't playing games. And she had both phones, but I was calling each one. But no, okay, so what's the purpose of yeah, what this is that? Well, basically, it's just acknowledging what the person says because it's. If everybody yelled out at the same time, you kind of yeah. wouldn't hear the person anymore. So snapping, you can kind of still hear. You can still hear. Even with clapping, you, so yeah, you don't want to so clap. You just want to snap with you someone. Can clap. Hey, poetry, the, the, I take anything. I take yelling, clapping, <laughs> snapping. As long as I get some vibe back, I'm good. <laughs> All right. See, none of that double clap. <laughs> she didn't say that. She said, or. Well, she put or in there. <laughs> Not a blend. <laughs> it's trying to mix stuff up. Like she's baking a cake or something. <laughs> Don't invite her. <laughs> I, I follow her, so. <laughs> but anyway, look. Is there anything you want to say before we get out of here? Fear is only as strong as you give it the victory to be. Don't let fear limit your hope. It'll talk to you. It'll convince you that you're not good enough. It'll convince you you're not strong enough. It'll convince you there's already so many people doing it. It'll convince you you don't have the education. It will say anything it needs to say to get you to stop doing what you're going to do that's going to get you to progress. Don't listen. Tell your fear to get their shoes because they're going on a road trip. So, would your family be upset if you moved in with them? <laughs> 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 you know, you just wake up. And point, kick, I do. And then she's in the corner just back up. <laughs> you know how empowered you would be every morning? You are <laughs> Your words, your words are so empowering. It is. And the way it that you put so everything good. together, so much good it, energy. it's, it's the good energy, it's empowering, empowering. Um, it, it breathes, breathes yeah. life. Mm -hmm. It does. It and, does. and it's like a push in the right direction. It does it and it's like one of those encouraging pushes. Yeah, like, you know, like one of those hugs your grandma gonna give you. Know, you. Feel <laughs> it's like, 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 hello, oh, girl. Yeah. Go out there. I can do anything. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's awesome. But um, as far as moving in with her, <laughs> you can end up doing <laughs> before two weeks. You be, you be doing this, and I'm like, yeah, she fell down a rabbit hole. <laughs> fell down that rabbit hole. Somebody go get Kim B. Miller. <laughs> get out there, rescue her. <laughs> so tell everybody where they can find you. Yeah. Uh, my website is kimbmiller.com. All my information is there. All my social media. Social media I make very easy. I am Kim B. Miller on everything. Okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. See, okay. easiest way to find her. I am Kim B. Miller. So you can find her. Go look her up. Follow her on uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Mm -hmm. You also on YouTube as well? Mm -hmm. I just yeah. started YouTube. I'm starting to get my clips together and watch me. Yes. yes, I think we subscribed or I subscribed. Mm -hmm. I was, I was, I was at work and I was day. looking through. Yes. <laughs> I was at work doing so much. I was like, oh, let me try to do this. Let me do this. So, one of us is in a uh, fan page subscribed or I subscribed. Yes. One of them. But please, 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 you have got to follow this young lady. She is wonderful. She's amazing. Um, all of her words are very encouraging. If you want like some encouragement, get her book. Get her book. You can, you know, you can. Read it. Yeah. Give her book as a gift to someone. Mm -hmm. um, she's doing some amazing things with the youth and also with uh, women that are um, incarcerated, giving them uh, a leg up so when they come out, they have something to stand on. So encouraging words. So uh, we appreciate you. We applaud Thank you. you. We we love what you're doing, and we're always gonna be your corner supporting you. Aww. So whenever you got something going on, let us know. Uh, we definitely will have you back. We we'll definitely will have you back on the show. Thank you. And. Um, yeah. We're gonna come up with some haku. So next time you oh, come on the right. show, me and Kim we're gonna have some haku. Right. So I'm gonna look up memo note to myself, <laughs> find out what a syllable is. <laughs> <laughs>
I'll be Googling it later. <laughs> Dear Google, <laughs> give me four haikus. <laughs> now, switch words around so they'll be mine. <laughs> but no, we appreciate you so much, and we can't thank you enough for being here with us. We appreciate you. Um, listen, Kim B. Miller, you've got to follow her. you got to follow her. you got to check her out. Um, support her because she's supporting so many. We'll just leave it like that. Yeah. All right. So look, this is newbie. Um, remember, we said we had a good Kim okay. and we had a new Kim. So. <laughs> See how he said that good thing? energy? He's taking me back now. Oh no, no, I'm full of that good energy. That's why I'm giving it out. <laughs> so <laughs> this is newbie. That's Kim. Remember the latter Kim, <laughs> and then we have Kim B. Miller right here. Yeah. Kim, thank you so much. Thank you. I love it. Appreciate it. Okay, so I'm going to go and cut that off <laughs> as soon as I get up. I am stuck in a haiku right now. <laughs> no, girl, I love you. You are like the bomb. <laughs> pure lounge tonight, guys. Yay. Yeah, pure lounge.